Hi, we are here at the Ubisoft Quebec studio, home of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and we've got an exciting month of content for April. A new Lost Tale of Greece, new items, and the upcoming first episode of our second DLC, The Fate of Atlantis. Let's dive in. We recently released a free Lost Tale of Greece called The Heir of Memory. You'll play as Leila and explore some tombs in order to find a way to enter the lost city of Atlantis. If you finish the Pythagoras storyline, the quest will appear automatically in your quest log. This free tale marks the beginning of a new exciting adventure into our upcoming DLC, The Fate of Atlantis, and is mandatory to start this new story. And who better to talk about the upcoming DLC than the developers themselves here at the Ubisoft Quebec studio? Let's take a look. The Fate of Atlantis DLC is separated into three episodes that revolve around our hero learning how to wield the Staff of Hermes. The Fate of Atlantis also picks up the modern day storyline uh, where we left it off in Odyssey, so we'll be seeing a lot more of Layla uh, as well. Now, each episode is separated uh, into its own world and will offer players a brand new place to explore and new stories inside of those fantastic worlds. Episode one of Fate of Atlantis is called The Fields of Elysium and revolves around Elysium, which is a part of the underworld reserved for those uh, with the most honor. In Odyssey, we have paradise, but now we really have paradise. We've pushed even more. Uh, the colors, it's really lush, it's really beautiful. As soon as you step in the world, like you're confronted with beauty all around you. Also, the, you'll see the landscape of the world is a lot different from uh, Odyssey. Odyssey, we had mountains, we had valleys, but now we're really trying to push these enormous rock formations where actually the gameplay is going to take place. So it's really a different landscape and we can't wait for people to see it. The staff is going to play a central role in the DLC. Once the staff passes from Pythagoras to the hero, you build a relationship with the staff and the staff and you become entwined. And the DLC explores the relationship that you have with the staff and how you unlock its power. So just as we explore the relationship between the staff and the hero, we also explore the relationship between the staff and Layla. And in so doing, you actually learn how the hero, the staff, and Layla are connected. You'll also see a development in Layla's character as she experiences those memories of the hero. During the journey through the fate of Atlantis, we're going to be meeting all sorts of Greek gods who also happen to be Isu. And you're going to find out how the Greek mythical stories that we've learned are connected to our lore, our Assassin's Creed lore of the Isu. Of course, we'll fight new types of enemies in, the, in this DLC. The Isu used artifacts like the Apple of Eden to control humankind. Basically, they created a new, an army made of these uh, humans uh, controlled by the Isus. So you'll fight new archetypes, we have new moves, new, new fight skills you'll have to develop to fight them. On top of it, also the Isus, well, they needed protection, uh, so they created a new enemy that's called the Colossi and will bring a new uh, challenge to the fight. So because the Fate of Atlantis DLC picks up right where we left off in the main game, uh, players have to have completed uh, the Mythical Creatures storyline as well as uh, the Story Pack Air of Memories. Because we understand that that's a considerable time investment, we're also making available to players a temporary save file that they can use to be able to access the content the moment it becomes available. The first episode of The Fate of Atlantis, The Fields of Elysium, is releasing on April 23rd. The Sphinx Pax, celebrating your encounter with a mythical creature just released earlier this month. The Sphinx Character Pack includes a gear set, a mount, and the legendary scepter. The Naval Pack includes a ship design, a figurehead, and a crew skin. And finally, you can hand the Adrestia with a Sphinx Legendary Lieutenant. If you haven't got the chance to grab those items yet, they're still available both in the store and at the Ecos of the Olympians. The 
There is a lot of cool stuff coming your way in April. For full details, go check our article on assassinscreed.com. See you next time.